In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be showing you a new coin making method that I have learned from some other YouTubers in the community and I wanted to share with my community. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel, what my channel does is we try to help people get better at Madden 21 as we get better at Madden 21. Again, I'm not the best player in the world, but I learn a lot and I love this game and hopefully something I say in this video will be helpful to you um, because I believe if you can make more coins in Madden 21 Ultimate Team, then you can build a better squad. So um, anyways guys, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We'll have other tips as well. We don't just do much coin making methods we do full schemes it's actually more, more of my strength is to do the full scheme stuff and so we also have schemes and tips and money plays and all that fun stuff for you over the channel all right so uh, Madden ultimate team here's what you're gonna do you're gonna log into ultimate team and this is this is my favorite coin making method so far and gut fox gave a quick tip about this that will take it to the next level. So, um, you know, classic gut fox, basically. I mean, the guy is just a genius when it comes to money. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna go over to the auction store. Now, if you don't have any coins, this is what I recommend. If you don't have any coins to start with, cause I do have a decent amount of coins to start with here. Um, if you have zero coins to start with, go to solo challenges, go to legends and play the legend solo challenges. Do these challenges right here, Michael Vick, Deion Sanders. And then that's going to give you a power-up card. Sell the power-up card. That will get you started. That will get you some coins. And then you can start doing this method. But the best method, I think, so far, and most consistent, other than doing the um, the DC or the, the taking your record, right? Without taking your record, to me, the best method so far is these get-a-player packs. But here's a little trick we're going to show you. So you can buy a get-a-player pack with 500 coins. Now, you're going to get a variety of different things. You're going to get core rookies. What I have found, though, is that as the game has gone on, these play this continues to get even better. In fact, you get more golds than you would think doing this you're gonna get power-ups you're gonna get silvers you're gonna get golds you're gonna get core rookies right you're gonna get all these different types of players uh and these players will be all over the map some will be like i said some will be silver some will be gold you'll pull some power-ups as well and in my opinion this is just a very consistent way so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you're gonna do this now it's gonna cost on it's gonna cost 500 coins per player to do this now here's what i want you to think about 500 coins per player to do this so if you buy a hundred players then that is uh an investment of i believe um if you if you buy a hundred a hundred players at 500 coins a piece that is an investment of i think five thousand fifty thousand coins a decent amount of coins okay but what we're gonna do with this is gonna be an instant profit because most of these players are actually worth even the bad ones that you pull are worth at least a thousand coins so if you wanted to just quick sell these or um, to auction these off on the marketplace you could do that and still make coins the method that i'm going to show you here in just a second is also focusing on um, two other things that you want to be doing in conjunction with this right here um, so i'm just going to go through and just pull a couple of more of these packs while i do that i do want to go ahead and personally invite you to my youtube channel discord discord is basically a community app it's a communication platform that allows us to all kind of come together into one chat room be able to talk mad and be able to learn from one another be able to share new ideas be able to uh get lab partners build relationships with people it's just a great place to get started so if you have it and if you want to get more involved in the Madden community if you want to get more involved in my personal community or if you just want to find some really cool players uh to lab with go ahead and join that discord you won't regret it there's a link to do it in the description but you see here i'm, I'm pulling these gold cards okay so this is very consistent i mean it's it's like one out of every five, I would say, are going to be a gold or a power-up. David Bakhtari, very, very good pull there uh, with that power-up card. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of here. And I am going to go, and you would do this for a little while, right? You would want to do this for an hour or so. What I did, I did this while I was watching the game last night. And I made enough coins, I think I was last night, up to about 900,000 coins after it was all said and done. So... What you're going to do is you're going to go into sets and then you're going to come over here into the exchange sets player exchange 
and you're trying to get you're gonna do these two right here 70 to 74 and 66 to 69 so you just do these exchange sets very very easy so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna open these packs and then we'll do this until we're out of players so if you think about it like this you're always gonna you're always gonna have you know people to be able to, to exchange while doing this so I can do these two here so we're just gonna do two it's fine it's not a big deal I just want to show you the potential that you can build with this um, because to me this is this is by far I mean it's it's just been the most consistent for me uh, so you know you got to decide what's best for you but it's been the most consistent for me so then you're gonna go to 70 74 and you're gonna add your players into here your 66 to 69 overalls so we're just gonna add these guys in here now the power-ups what I would suggest is I would suggest holding power-ups if you think they're gonna get a better card later but if you don't think they're gonna get a better card later for example like a Jimmy Garoppolo he might not get a better card or Anthony Harris right these guys might not get new cards so um, so then all I would do is just add them uh, it, you know you, you power-ups are only as good as the player and so if the player is not that good you know, the power is not going to be that good. But you see here, you're going to get these 70 to 74s, okay? So now what you do, and this is what Gut Fox was able to, to teach me and what I was hoping to impart to you guys. What I would what, what I was originally recommending was to do the 75 to 79 trade in for random gold. Um, You have to do four players to do that, so it's a little bit more expensive. It's not as, and it's just not as good, not as consistent for you. What you can do, though, is if you back out and you come over here to Superstar, not Superstar MVP. Yes, yeah, Superstar MVPs, I'm sorry. Go to the Superstar MVP sets. You're gonna come down here to the 76 to 78 gold Superstar MVP player. This is gonna still register for what we want. So that it only requires three golds as opposed to four golds, which is gonna save you some coins. So I'm gonna throw these in here go and it's going to give me a 75 to 78 overall superstar player now the next step from this so you've done these couple sets now you've been working up your team and again you can do this while you're watching tv or while you're listening to a podcast or, or whatever right it's not that big of a deal it just takes a little bit of time but you know you most people have more time to put into the game they just don't realize it like you can play you can do th this is like mindless right so you can do this while you're watching uh, like I said, the, the Monday night game or whatever. But anyway, so I'm just going to add all these guys in here. And this has given me three, uh, three 76 to 78 overall gold players. Okay, superstar MVPs. Now, if I wanted to, I could sell them and make, you know, a couple couple K off of every one of them. But what I would recommend you do, especially right now, um, is to go over to the 50. And do the 50 exchange set. And what I can do here is I can add in these set these 76 to 78 overall gold players into this set right here as you see then it's going to give me an 81 overall fresh player now you could sell this card or you can play the long game i personally like to play the long game so it's going to give me a reggie white so then what i can do is i can back out of this go into the 50 week any of these sets whichever one you want to do i personally recommend the brian jo dawkins but if you look at the top left of the Brian Dawkins picture, it says repeatable. So I've already done this several times, but I can do all of these um, sets. What makes that really, really powerful? Um, now again, you see all that to get one player, but if you do this over and over again, you're gonna be able to fill this set. This Brian Dawkins set is gonna reward you with his 91 overall edition and his power-up card. Now, what I recommend is saving this method up doing all of this on wednesday or tuesday right or today to sell the card when it's most expensive most of the time from what i'm researching and from what gut fox has been coaching me on is the best time to sell cards is either tuesday or wednesday um and because that's when they're going to be at their highest point highest price point i made the mistake of buying an aaron Rodgers for like 1.9 million coins the next day he went down to 400,000 coins I lost 700,000 coins so you know I've learned from my mistakes but this Brian Dawkins right now is going for for 15,000 but if you go down here his power up 
which this is a little bit down. It'll probably go up tonight, to back to 200,000, but he's 170,000 for his power up. And then his 91 overall is 100, 370,000. So the set that you just did is worth, um, is, is worth like almost 550,000 coins, if not more. Okay, so you do two of these sets and you're going to make over a million coins. Now, it does cost you the 500 coins to do the get a player packs, but what, you can, what you're also going to do is you're going to be rolling odds. Um, and then one other, one other quick tip with this is to go into your challenges, go to your solo challenges, and this is what makes this really effective, I think. Um, this was something that Bangsy taught me. Um, but basically if you go into the challenges and you go to the 50, you're going to go through and you're going to do these challenges. You're going to see here that you're going to get rewards, um, with the player. So they're actually going to give you, um, if you look here, let me see if I can see it here. Maybe it's down here in the weekly. Um, but you'll see, I get rewarded every single time that I do. Oh, it's in the milestones here. So you see here, depending on the milestone that you reach you're going to get these non-auctionable players. You see here, there's one for week four, week three, week five. This tells you how many weeks the program is going to last. Looks like it's going to be 15 weeks of this, right? So you're going to be able to do this every single week for 15 weeks. And you're going to be able to consistently make a ton of coins off of it because you can't buy the power-ups off the, or the power-ups are not available in packs. That's what makes them so, so expensive. People can't get them in packs. They're going to have to go to the auction house, which allows you to jack the price up to 170 to 200,000 coins for one power up card. To me, that is so powerful. But this right here, guys, is what I would recommend doing. This is the best coin making method that I have found. Um, and so if you're looking to build your team, what I would recommend is doing this. We've got some other tip videos coming um, throughout the day here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to turn on that notification icon so that you can uh, get all access to all of those videos. And also what I want to encourage you to do is to go ahead and make sure that you turn on the notification button because we're going to be going live tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time, talking Madden 21, sharing different ideas, different schemes, showing you a lot of our tips in real time and in real scheme form. So we'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.